What's up guys, it's Kostaf here and today I got a Titanfall gameplay commentary for you guys. Basically, I moved to a new city. I'm now here in Atlanta. I got a new job and I basically want to tell you about the hell week that preceded it. Absolute hell. You guys are going to be amazed what happened to me. But anyways, before I get into that, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Control Freaks. Definitely go check them out. Uh, there'll be a link to their website in the video description below. Use the promo code Kostaf to save, I think, 10%. Yeah, you get 10% off your order. Um, basically, if you don't know what Control Freaks are, it's basically an attachment that goes on your thumbstick now you can put them on both I choose to just put it on my right thumbstick because that's you know the thumbstick you use to aim I'm um, gonna basically just you know, elongates you know I guess the axis or the you know yeah basically yeah the axis of your your stick I don't know how the professional way to put it um, but it gives you more aim and I use the shit out of it you can go watch pretty much any video I've ever made uh, that's a live comment of me playing or anything you'll see me using it because it does increase accuracy and I'm a sniper so speaking from like a sniper's point of view it really does help um, as in red gunning, I can imagine it can help in you know a lot of you know I guess really close accurate you know situations when the enemy is really close to you and you've got to pan across the screen more. But as a sniper, when you're zooming in, it's invaluable. You have to have it. Like I said, don't use uh, free, don't forget to use the promo code Costaf. Save you ten percent. Anyways, I also wanted to basically pose you this question. Yeah, and as then in time I started anything new on YouTube, I usually like the comments and the likes dictate. Um, whether I continue a series or whether I continue a style of video or change it up, whatever. I want to start doing commentaries. Now, I'm not going to change my upload pattern at all in the fact that, you know, I'm going to continue to upload the same amount of funny joke videos and, you know, I guess, aka trolling videos or whatever you want to call them. Um, but I also want to start uploading some commentaries. Maybe up, you know, a few days of the week, maybe do two uploads a day, you know, as I usually try to do one a day. But I definitely want to start bringing you guys this kind of content, as in, I don't ever really get to interact with you guys besides the comment section. And then you're, then you're really kind of limited, or we're kind of limited, to talking about what the video is about. So I kind of wanted to start doing more commentary so that I get to talk to you guys about, you know, any random stuff. Pretty much, you know, stuff where you guys talk in the comment section, stuff that's going on in gaming, um, and just whatever I feel like bitching about that day. I don't know, pretty much that kind of stuff. I want to start doing commentary, so let me know what you think. Give me a like, or drop a like, give me a like. Drop a like if you want to kind of see more of these. But alright, so get right into it. I want to tell you about Atlanta. But I gotta start way before that because the week that preceded me moving here was just absolute fuckery. Believe it or not, I have moved twice in the last two days, or last two days, the last two week pretty much. Um, is it's been pretty crazy. Now, let's start off with, uh, basically, I guess you have to start off, you know, with me leaving school. Not leaving school, graduating school. When I graduated from law school, I moved back here to uh, North Carolina. Um, and he, so I could be close to my family. Because, you know, I've been in school for like the last seven years. You know, so I did college and then law school. You know, I haven't been really close to my family a lot because I did school away from my family the whole time. So, you know, I really wanted to live close by. And, you know, and I, th I would think that's fairly normal um, when kids graduate school. They move back to their parents' house for a couple months to find their new job or whatever. I ended up working from home um, doing a whole bunch of stuff, you know, in the gaming and different things like that. Which led to my current job. Um, so, you know, I... I didn't really have to go out and find a whole nother job, but you know, I def definitely was looking um, for roommates and different things like that. And I've always had roommates all throughout college and all throughout law school. It's just, you know, it's a great thing usually having a roommate. Sometimes it can be amazing. You know, you're saving some money, you got a buddy to live with, you know, and stuff like that. But then there's the bad situations. Um, I was in one of those bad situations. Now I was living with a buddy of mine from high school, um, and just some, I guess, some short life advice is you guys will probably, I'm guessing the age range of most of my viewers, but you know, we will probably come to a point um, when you're getting a little bit older, and you know you're gone maybe down a different path than your friends um, that you originally known from high school and stuff like that. And you know maybe you've just grown apart, or just grown past them, or you know just grown in a different way from them. Put it that way. Um, well, I, you know, the, the current, per the friend that I was, you know, living with about, you know, a week ago, unfortunately to say, you know, this is a guy I've known since high school. He was a good buddy of mine, but, you know, he's been battling against some bad habits um, and some bad things that are going on in his life. I'm not going to name him. I'm not going to throw him under the bus, but he's been, he's been, he has a lot of problems, put it that way. And it got to the point where I had to leave the house um, that I was living at. The, the house that I've been living at is pretty much the whole time you guys have known me ever since I started doing these kind of like funny joke videos and a lot of my subscriber, or a lot of my current subscribers came over to my channel. That was where I was living. Um, but that guy, you know, he had a lot of really just demons going on inside of him and different things like that. Well, it came to a point where I had to leave. And it didn't come to a point where I had to leave like in a day or a week. It came to a point where I had to leave in like an hour. Um, and thankfully, you know, my family all lived within an hour of me. I'm talking my sisters, you know, my, you know, my sister, my mom, my dad, and my entire family pretty much got together within an hour and dropped everything they were doing to come move me out of this guy's house. Cause it was getting bad. It got, it got to the point where it was getting violent. Um, I even had Jimmy worrying about me cause I was sitting there on Skype. I'm like, dude, you know, I can't, <clears throat> something's going on, man. You know, I was telling him about it. 
But it got to the point where it was just dangerous. So my whole entire family, they, you know, came and moved everything I own. I'm talking three cars worth of crap all within an hour and moved me out of this guy's house. In the middle of the month, mind you, I had paid for the whole month, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. It's money lost. But I mean, I had to get out of there. It was bad. And, you know, he kicked me out. It wasn't like I left, you know, on my own will. He, he, was, he was going crazy. and It was bad. Um, so I had to move out of there, and I'd been living at my brother's house for the last three or four days. And you're probably wondering, you know, if it was getting so bad, why didn't I leave earlier? Um, the point being that, you know, in my current, you know, well, not my current, but my old, I guess, occupation, as I was working from home and gaming, different things, I was fostering a current job offer that I actually got the job for, and it's the reason I've moved to Atlanta. But I didn't know when it was coming in, and I didn't want to sign a new lease down in North Carolina or up in North Carolina, you know, because then I would have to breach it to come move here. And I knew the job offer was coming relatively soon, so I was really forced to live there for an extra two to three months. And two to three months, I would have not lived in there otherwise, um, simply so that it would be more convenient for me to move here to Atlanta. Unfortunately, that did not pan out, and I ended up having to leave that house like oh, exactly a week before I moved to Atlanta. Funny how things work out. But I ended up moving into my brother's house, so that's where I've been for the past week, making videos and you know doing different stuff like that. Um, um, and then, you know, obviously the job offer came in and I've been driving back and forth between Atlanta, finding my current apartment um, and, you know, meeting the guys down at the office and doing all that kind of stuff. Um, so pretty much through all of that crap, I eventually then moved again um, on Saturday down here to Atlanta um, to an apartment with no heat and in an even bigger tragedy, no Internet. I'm kidding, though, but the, the no heat really sucked. They moved me into a place with no heater. I don't know what the, you know, the lady at the lease office, oh, I checked it out, everything was great, everything was fine. This place had doors, oh, cl all right, to be fair, closet doors missing and no heater. And I'm not talking about, like, you know, there was a little tiny piece missing. No, this motherfucker came in today holding a engine, a huge, like, blower, massive piece of this, like, you know, easily four and a half foot tall heater because it's a gas heater. Even, you know, they eventually stalled it. I now have heat. And even more important, I now have internet. Um, so now I can continue to upload. I you know, have plenty of videos saved up, plenty of stuff you know I wanted to bring out. But obviously, I had no time to edit the videos. I you know I would have uploaded them before I moved. But you know, as in I was driving back and forth to Atlanta and doing all this stuff. But I am proud to say, you know, I'm not going to release the name of the company because this is a gaming company and they are gaming related. Um, and that I did get this job through pretty much my, what I've been doing here on YouTube and the different things I've been doing in this gaming industry since graduating. As in, you know, like most uh, graduates have found in the last four to five years, that finding that first job is growing increasingly hard as the economy's bad, especially in my degree, a law degree. It's a really specialized field. And, you know, not a lot of firms are wanting to invest in new associates. And it just became a pain. And I, you know, I ended up just making my own job. And it was great for a year and a half working for myself, but I'm really excited that it's led to the current, you know, opportunity I have now. Um, and that, you know, I would definitely want to keep my YouTube life and my professional life separate, as in my YouTube videos, or rather, you know, I want to be able to say and do whatever the hell I want to do on YouTube, pretty much. And the only way I can do that is to keep them completely separate. So I'm going to make that conscious choice and not release what company I got hired to, so that I can continue to do these kind of videos and have it no way impact what I do, um, you know, for a living. So I hope you guys uh, respect that. And also, you know, I hope you guys are happy for me. I got out of that really horrible situation. I got my whole new setup. I got my own apartment. No fucking roommates anymore. It's kind of awesome. So it really frees me up to be able to do everything I really want to do. So I look forward to a whole bunch of, you know, new content, a whole bunch of new different, you know, different things I want to bring at you guys. A whole lot of, you know, funny moments of Team Caliber and continue to do all these stupid trolling videos and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.